What color is his hat? Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I wanted to take a break from building and actually enjoy a game. Uh, and I wanted to share the gameplay with you guys. Um, I don't think I'm going to go through the whole thing. I don't want to make this an hour long video or whatnot, but let's do a gameplay video and check this out. Um, it's one of the more underrated Sega Genesis games that I'm checking out. Um, I'm just using just a no name um, Sega Saturn USB controller. Uh, but it works great, and I've already configured it, ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and check it out. So the game I'm talking about is Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse uh, for the Sega Genesis. I think this is a phenomenal game, and it's just something, if you haven't experienced it, or you, know, you don't want to admit that you want to play it, um, just check it out. What I like about this game is the fact that I enjoy it, um, and I, it's also a game I, I can enjoy with my kids, and, and that's something. I mean, my youngest one is too small right now, but uh, my other son definitely can check this out with him. I'm just going to set up my buttons. Uh, I like jump to be my B button, uh, and A and C to be my throw button. I, I don't know if this is underrated, so to speak, but I just feel like you know, not a lot of people want to admit that, like, I love that, you know, Disney Mickey Mouse game. <laughs> uh, but it's just a great game. I first experienced it on the Master System. Uh, but I thought I would showcase the Genesis version uh, in this video. And just kind of play through a little bit. I might get flagged, but whatever. I, I want to enjoy the game. So... I, I don't want to sit there with, you know, muted sound and you guys got to completely just listen to me ramble. There we go. And boom. So, it's been a while. So, if, if I'm not, like, you know, expert at it, I once was. More so for the Master System. Uh, but same thing, better graphics, better sound. Whoa, Let's see. So I don't remember where, you know, all the enemies are, how to defeat all the enemies, which is nice because I, I mean, I like watching people do speed runs and things like that. And they're really good at a game, but at the same time, I want to experience it. rather watch someone experience it uh, the way that I would so here I remember I think it was two jumps and then wait yeah and then you're good to go for a while now down there I'm not going for it <laughs> it's been too long Oh, I thought that, oh, I'm supposed to go in there. I thought the, what was that, a tomato or an apple? I thought that went in there. Sorry. Beer break. All right. So this is a game um, you can enjoy, but you can enjoy with your children as well. Um Castle of Illusion, I just, there's something about it that just sucks me in. And I like the controls, they're nice and tight. Uh, I, I like the gameplay, I just, the graphics are good. I think it's right here. Yeah. Got it. Now where do I go? I don't know. How do I get out of here? I don't know if I can make that jump. Let's find out. Nope. So it's been a while, as I mentioned. But, uh, you know, as, as I said, like this is a great game to play uh, by yourself, with a friend, you know, team up and get it done. Um, definitely with your kid. Um, 
Titan's gone to his great grandma's right now, so I can't enjoy it with him. But I decided I'll enjoy it with you two. So let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Boom. He's going to come back down. There we go. Don't go for the star. It's not worth it. And got it. All right. So, you know, so far, not really so good, but uh, we're playing, we're playing. So, in this video, um, you know, as I normally do, I try to give updates for the channel. And one thing that I don't want to do is give false promises to my viewers. So, like, something I'm going to do and I end up not doing it, and things of that nature. Um... First and foremost, Vintage Collection. So, <laughs> Vintage Collection has actually become uh, rather large uh, thus far. Um, shooting this video, now, I'm not sure if the PlayStation or the Dreamcast has been released yet. Uh, the packs for Vintage Collection. If they have, then you know how massive... Um, the build is is becoming, and the and your your collection will be extensive to say the least, uh, as far as the amount of games that you will be able to enjoy. But really, I mean, I don't need that many games personally. I cut it down, as I've mentioned uh, in previous videos as well. Um, yeah, yeah. So, Vintage Collection is something I'm, I'm going to continuously work on and make better. Um, I want it to be for someone who just wants an easy setup. There's all my systems, one shot, boom. Um, and you can show your friends and be like, look at all the games and check this out and check that out and have you tried this. And that's a big one for me. Um, I'm just going to pause real quick. Uh, a big one for me is like, have you tried this? Because there's so many good games. There's so many good games out there that I've never experienced until emulation. And it, what it does is make me build my personal collection. I mean, my physical collection to where right now I'm working on an NES collection. Do I want the whole set? Of course I would love to have the whole set. But... That's, that's not me. I don't need the whole set. I just need what I'm going to play. And same thing with uh, Sega Genesis. Uh, I have two Genesis consoles now. And to be honest, one is for the shelf uh, as a backup. And one is to be played. Uh, and the other one will be played too, but oh, I can only hit them once. Um... But I'll collect the Genesis games that I enjoy. And luckily for me, the Genesis has a lot of cheap games uh, that I enjoy. The NES to collect for, pretty pricey. Um, even Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. You know, I see it for like 40 bucks Canadian. 40 bucks! Um, and I think to myself, like, mm, I'll emulate it until I get a good deal. You know, maybe a yard sale or something. <laughs> or prices drop but until then I don't think I'll be buying Mike Tyson's punch out and I can get the normal punch out for half the price less than half the price I can get it for 20 bucks but it's not the same I mean it is but it's not if I'm collecting I'm collecting for what I want and I don't want the punch out with Mr. Dream I want the punch out with Mike Tyson um, for many reasons well, not many, but a couple of reasons, and one is I was a huge Mike Tyson fan uh, growing up as a kid. Um, the other thing was I was a huge Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! fan when I was a kid. Uh, Punch-Out! came later. Um, obviously, you know, probably the, just the, if he got in trouble or if it was the rights, the contract, however that stuff goes, none of my business, but Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! is what I liked. Contra is another one. Uh, any Mario game, like I have Mario and uh, Duck Hunt, you know, I have that, uh, pick that up for cheap, so, yeah, I forget this, 
and I have no apples. All right. But yeah, I mean, as far as NES goes, it's uh, it's expensive no matter which way you look at it. Now, um, as as far as Sega Genesis goes, it's actually doable. I mean, for the games that I enjoy, it's doable. Uh, and soon, I'm hoping to grab an an SNES system, even though I have the NES Classic, the SNES Classic. Um, you know, I could get a a, a multi cart or an EverDrive for the Sega Genesis. For for the amount of games that I enjoy for each system, other than NES, because <laughs> that's a lot, but. Um, it's not that costly, and I prefer to just have that cartridge, put it in, and play it. I mean, I love emulation. I mean, don't get me wrong. The the leaps leaps and bounds that emulation has made in recent years is just amazing. It's it's astonishing. Um, oh, you got me. But that being said, I mean, there's there's just something about playing the real cart on the real consoles with the real controllers and I do reviews on third-party stuff you know fair, fairly often and the reason why I do that is for anyone who is looking to get that third-party item is it worth your money because I give my honest opinion I never get anything sent to me for free by any company, uh, and even if I did, even if I did, in the future, let's say I become a bigger channel and they start sending me stuff for free, you will always, and I guarantee you, always get my honest review. There's certain things where I've had first thoughts where I'm like, nah, you know, not a big fan, but then I go ahead and use it, and I'm like, wow, it's actually better than I expected and mostly in that regard is the Retrobit NES dog bone controller that was one where I was like short cord thin cord lightweight piece of junk and then I used it against the Hyperkin who it had some some substance to it thicker cord I mean it, it just had so much going on for it and yet the d-pad was bleh. There we go. And it, it just sometimes things like that happen. But that's why I, what I like to do. Um, a lot of people do like, oh, they review something that they've tried, you know, for five minutes and say, oh, yeah, it's fine. But really, it's not fine. I like to do things over time. And put some hours into it. Uh, and the reason why I do that is because, yeah, maybe brand new it was great. But after some gameplay, it fell apart. It's a piece of junk. Who knows? And, and sometimes things are just a piece of junk sh straight out the gate. Oops. I wasted one there. So, I've got, I mean, right now, this... This Sega Saturn controller, which is I'm just using as a six button Sega Genesis controller for the time being. This is just a data frog, you know, AliExpress. I think I paid like four or five bucks. And it works. I I've got no issues. I've got no input lag. Nothing. I'm good to go. I'm enjoying the game right now. I'm not frustrated. If if you were to buy something and you're like wow man I really wasted my money and and that right there is the main reason why I go and buy the things on sale mind you because you know third party paying full price yeah the only controllers I would say that uh, I, I guess are top-notch and I mean for a third party top-notch 8-bit though. 8-bit though, the Super Nintendo controller is just phenomenal. And I, you know, the SN30. I've yet to get an SN30 Pro. 
you know, I'm I'm a man on a budget. What can I say? Okay, I don't know what just happened there. All right, got that. Ah, uh, let's let's go back to normal here. Sweet. I don't like these clowns on their unicycles. But yeah, 8-bit dough controllers. Is, I've tested a couple. Um, and I have the... Yeah. The SN30. SN30, not the 30 Pro. Uh, and I can't say enough good things about it. It is my go-to for my SNES Classic. It's... It's just so well done, and the, you know, almost, and I mean so close to being spot on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, I missed it. What if those are coming back? Yep, one. Oh, one came back. So, retro bit, I... I mean, I've done an unboxing and a, and a first thoughts on their Atari 2600 controller. Um, I have to go back. Uh, obviously, their NES Dogbone controller. But sometimes looks can be deceiving. I mean, the Dogbone controller is definitely the prime example. Um, it's a great controller. It's, it's still doing well. And I'm probably over 30... 40 hours with it. I mean, I'm not even sure, but it's a good controller. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, I see. Stay away from him. Let him shoot those, and then hit him in the head. Gotcha. Go, go. Come on, Mickey. Oh, I missed him, and he got me. Go, go. One, two, three, duck. No. Ah. Uh, Alright. Do I start right back at him? That'd be great. I do. Alright. Yeah, I find, you know, companies like Retrobit, um, even, I don't have any, uh, I have to jump on his head now. Well, might end the video if I die here. One, two. Oh man, I wasn't expecting that at all. Alright. Okay, so I have no choice now. And he got me again. Two, three, duck. One. Oh, I want to see. All right. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, and basically, I'm terrible at this game now. <laughs> number one. Uh, but number two, you know, when you when you go to emulation, you know, the Raspberry Pis, PC, anything that you're emulating on, it's it's great. It really is great. And I don't knock emulation whatsoever because that that's what's helped me. Um, find a love for for games that I've never experienced uh, in the past however when you play it on a physical system when you're talking you know you put that NES cartridge into your NES push it down close the flap and push power and you're playing there's just something about it now emulation I play predominant predominantly on HD TVs same with the I'll take my NES Classic and my SNES Classic as an example. Those are designed for HD televisions. And I play them on HD TV, and it's fun. Now, I'm lucky I have a CRT TV with an HDMI input, 
And when I play them on there, I don't know what it is. It's that CRT, man. But it, it, it brings me back to actually playing the console. So for NES, I have an NES, but I do not have all the games that I want to enjoy for that system. So I use my NES Classic. For SNES, I don't have a Super Nintendo right now, but I will be getting one in the future if I can find a good deal. Um, and I played the SNES Classic, and I put all the games on that I like, you know, and I play it through HDMI on the CRT television. Why do I do that? Well, basically because it just looks better, and it gives me that real nostalgia feeling. When I play... Wii emulators and GameCube emulators and and um, you know the Semu and 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 all these types of things. When I play those, I want to upscale. Even the PlayStation 2 emulator, I want to upscale it. I and PSP and those I enjoy playing in like as as the max resolution possible that you know my piece of junk computer can actually handle. Uh, but as far as when I go and think about the 8-bit and the 16-bit consoles you know that's when it's like okay I want to play this on a CRT I want it to look blocky I want it to be the same nostalgic feel as playing the official console and to end the video like I said, my SNES Classic, I enjoyed it. It was awesome on an HD TV. I plugged it into a CRT that has HDMI, and it's like a million times better. I mean, it's just so amazing to relive um, those classics. My Sega Genesis, I, I love playing this emulation that I'm doing for you guys now, but when I plug it into that CRT TV, I'm telling you, man, it, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like putting that cartridge in, hitting the power button, and playing it as it was meant to be played so I'm gonna end the video with that I really appreciate you guys watching please hit that like button subscribe to the channel and most importantly have a good day